Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you this book cataloging application. It's called Book Catalog. Okay, so nothing crazy. And by the way, it's available on F-Droid. There it is, Book Catalog. And here it shows that maybe they're using some proprietary library or something proprietary in the source code. And that's it. There is another one. It's called uh, Bookworm. It's not as uh, customizable and advanced as book catalog but maybe you also want to try this one and use whatever you prefer by the way if you're using either one or the other it will be super useful and helpful to install also barcode scanner okay so that then you can add the the books just by scanning the barcode, you know, without uh, needing to add the ISBN or the, you know, the author name, the book name, and etc. or searching the internet manually. Now I'm going to show you how to scan a book and how to add a book to your, uh, to your collection. Okay, here we are, book catalog. This is actually not the home page. This is the, the main page, sorry. So let's go and scan some books. And I have to say that I don't really need this application, you know, because I don't care to have a catalog on my smartphone. And like, I buy only used books. So like half of them, they have no barcode and I have not really time staying there and adding the author and this and that, etc. you know. But if you are buying books, if you care about books, and if you want to have a catalog, this is a very uh, helpful tool, you know. Also, there is an integration with uh, Goodreads, you know, in here. So I think you can just scan a book and then add to your uh, Goodreads library, you know, super easily. Maybe, I don't know, you are in a library or in a bookstore you're interested in a book, you just scan it and you can also sync your, uh, with, with your Goodread uh, account. All right, so let's go my books. I have a few here, you know, already. And some of them, they have also the a description. Not everyone, not every book have a description, you know, but most of them have. All right. Let me add a new one. You want to press on the upper right corner, okay? And then let's select scan barcode. As you can see, as you see the barcode scanner just open. And then you can scan the code here. Okay, there it is. Searching on Amazon and Google Books. I don't know what they are sending also on Amazon and Google Books. Maybe your credential, your location, I have no idea. You want to check that, you know. Also, that's why I don't really want to have to scan my, my, my books and everything, you know. I don't want to send information to Google and Amazon. Okay, there it is. The book got recognized. There is also the description here. And by the way, you can edit everything. You can also write some notes if you need. Also, you can check if you have read this book already. So, let's add another one. This is a little bit older. So, let's check. Okay, there it is. Actually, the cover is different. It's not this one, but the book is the right one. Okay, so let's add also by pressing Add Book. And the thing that I don't like is that when you press Add Book, then it returns to the barcode scanner. You know, like you are adding book without end. Maybe if you are working in a library, maybe this is very useful. But for me, I mean... I mean, it's not even a big deal to just exit barcode, you know. But anyway, so let's uh, let's click Add Book, and then it will automatically go to barcode, as you saw. Okay, Add Book, and then it goes back. 
Let's scan something else. This is an Italian book. And it says found book. Okay, there is also a description in Italian, by the way, because the book it's not in English. So let me add book and scan for something else. Yeah, as you can see in this case, it has no no author. And by the way, it just it knows that it is a book, you know, but it's not like uh, in the in the archive or something. It cannot find it. So I'm gonna add it as it is. So it, it will just save the ESPN. Okay, so I'm gonna do cancel and not adding that. There's another book here. Let's see if you can find it. It's a rare also. Yeah, I found it. Another Italian book. Let me actually check some other books here. I have also some German stuff. But anyway, as you can see, you can just add everything super easily. There is no description here. Actually, just first edition, you know. And then let me check this one. There are actually two barcodes here. There it is. <laughs> Description is strange. Okay, that's it. I'm going to add book and then close the barcode. And as you can see here in your library, now you have some more books that you can just you can, by the way, uh, you can just select how to list them, if listing the author, if listing the book title, if listing the the publisher, you know, etc., etc. I mean, it's huge, really. And you can, by the way, cost, customize everything, you know. So really, if you like, uh, if you're doing something maybe for a library, you want to digitalize your collection, something like that, this may be a very helpful application. And that's it. Many other manage. By the way, you can create bookshelves, you know, different, your personal or for the school, you know, etc. And by the way, check the book. You know, there is for the, the, the good thing is that for every page, there is a hint, an explanation. You know, it's really super useful, this book. If that's what you need. This is very, very, very complete application. All right, that's it. That's how it is. Just also install barcode scanner, and then you'll be really be able just to scan every book one after the other and to add them super easily. Okay, that's it. Just a quick... Uh, uh, show I was just showing this application nothing crazy and I'll see you in the next time guys bye bye